Hi, this is Mike, UK Wolfman from the Watch Freaks Forum. would like to take a moment to bring a short video presentation to you on a new release from Brady Straps. This is the Bomb Frog Minesweeper. This is a, um, a limited edition run of 200 pieces. They're all serialized on the case back. And they come with the silicon rubber that you see in the video as well as a, a very nice uh, Brady cloth, original sailcloth strap. I reviewed this particular strap on the forum previously, so you can definitely uh, check that out and, and see, see the review and my thoughts on this strap. Very good strap. There will be a link at the bottom of this video presentation to the full written review and pictorial on the Watch Freaks forum, I definitely urge you to to go over and check out uh, the, the full written review because there will be photos and comments and so forth um, about the watch that I definitely will not cover here in um, the video portion of the, of the review, such as loom, different strap shots, wrist shots, etc. So definitely uh, go over and check that out. The Minesweeper, uh, as you can see, is a brushed stainless steel case. It's all 316L stainless steel. Uh, it uh, is about 43, actually it is 43 millimeters from 10 to 4. And if you factor in the crown, which is a, which is a nice size crown, it jumps the, the measurement up to right around 47 millimeters. The lug to lug is right around 49 millimeters. The case thickness is 14 millimeters. And you have a 22 millimeter lug width. Uh, it's going to wear pretty true to, true to size. Um, the, the lugs curve very nicely, as you can see. So it will it will conform to the wrist very well. It will have some you know some good wrist presence as, as any watch um, that measures 47 millimeters with the crown and and is 14 millimeters thick. So um, be prepared for some good wrist presence. No branding on the non-crown side of the case, which is fantastic. I love that. I, I tend to hate it when companies overbrand. In this particular case, um, Todd. Uh, decided to just go with the, the standard case uh, with no branding which is great. The crown side of the case. Great, um, uh, just a really great uh, eight millimeter screw down crown. There's uh, coin edging, makes it very easy to grasp and I don't know if the video will show it or not but Todd did opt for a little bit of high polish in the crown since pretty much everything else, well actually everything else on the watch is brushed so it just gives it that little extra flair. The crown action is extremely smooth and buttery there's no play, there's no wiggle in the, in the crown whatsoever Just very well, very nicely done. Next up, we have a uh, 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel. The clicks are very precise, as you can as you can see. There's just an ever so slight bit of play, nothing uh, extreme that that someone could not live with. In any way, shape, or form. The insert is is the standard aluminum metal insert, and it does have a loom pip at the uh, at the twelve. The minesweeper is fitted with a sapphire crystal. The sapphire crystal uh, provides a 32 millimeter dial opening. Now I'm not sure about the thickness of the sapphire crystal. I can find that find that information out and, and hopefully uh, include that in the in the written portion of the review. But the dial opening uh, really.
really gives you a good look um, at the the nice clean dial layout. Very 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 clean. There there's lots of branding on the dial as far as the um, the model name and and the water resistance and you know the bomb frog and, and the logo and so forth. But it's done in a way where the dial is actually big enough to where it looks clean and it's very presentable. The date window at the 3 is good sized and it is extremely legible. As I have commented in many of my reviews in the past, um, my eyesight's horrible and the larger the date window the better and this one is, is fantastic, it's perfect. All the main hour markers surrounding the dial are um, C3 Superluminova and they are they're painted on there are no applied markers on the dial the hands um, contain the same C3 Superluminova and the red second hand is another added bit of flair um, to, to the Minesweeper which which I, I really really like that, that Todd opted to, to go with red rather than a different color and there is a little bit of loom um, in the dot near the tip. And like I said earlier, you will have to go over to the written review to see the loom. It, it lights up very nicely. This comes with a, a screw down case back. As I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good video on the on the case back or not but the bomb frog maybe that'll show up there the bomb frog logo is at the center and then you have various specification information surrounding the outer portion and there is a, the serial number below the the bomb frog logo the Movement in this particular model is the Seiko NH35, and all of us are very familiar with that particular movement by now. I believe it's it's one of the I guess the newer releases from Seiko. Does provide a hacking feature, and um, this the sweep is not quite as smooth as say a Miyota 9015 or an Etta. But it is it is you know relatively smooth, and um, the timing since since arrival has been has been outstanding for this particular movement. The um, watch packaging again another thing that I won't cover in the video, but definitely go over to the written review and check it out. It's a nice zipper uh, travel case, two compartment I believe two compartment case. Um, that would allow you to to um, safely uh, travel this watch with you. Todd does provide a 12 month warranty on on the the Minesweeper, so keep that in mind. And that pretty much sums up the Minesweeper uh, portion uh, video portion of this review. So go over, check out the written portion, check out the additional photos. Feel free to leave a comment, a like on the video below, and um, definitely comment in in the written portion and I want to thank you all for watching and I'd like to thank Todd from from Brady Strass for providing the Minesweeper for a review thanks